Hey guys, Lyle from Stone Glacier here, and shed hunting season is right around the corner, so I'm gonna go over the setup that I use when I'm out there. Uh, this setup is for a two day, one night uh, rip out in the woods looking for antlers. So I use an Evo 3300 bag on an Evo frame, and I'll kind of walk you through some of the things that I'm doing on my bag. So on the belt, I use a Blackhawk Sherpa holster uh, with a Glock 10 millimeter for bears. Uh, what I like about this holster is it has the ability to really snug down tight onto that belt, so it makes it really easy to get uh, the gun in and out of there. It's really simple. I'll just grab it and pull it right out. On the other side, uh, I run a large accessory pocket. So inside of that, I carry all the things that I might want to get to super quick. So I have my cell phone in there, as well as a couple of snacks that I'll eat throughout the day to keep energy up. And then uh, sometimes I'll pop one of these energy tablets into my Nalgene as well. So on the other side of the bag, uh, I run this spine scope uh, tripod. This guy, what I really like about it, weighs in about two and a half pounds all in. Uh, it's got a Siru head on it, a really efficient setup there. On the face of the bag, uh, I run the auto lock buckles. What I like about these uh, for shed hunting is when you're tightening down over kind of an awkward or hard surface, uh, they'll remain tight and there won't be any slipping on there. Uh, during hunting season, not my favorite buckle, just because it's a little harder to use when your fingers are cold, so I'll swap those out. All right, in the top lid uh, of, my, of my bag, this is where I'll keep the things that I'll grab throughout the day. So I run two sets of compression uh, strap extenders. Those allow me to extend the straps on the face of the bag. When you start to get a lot of horns on there, uh, you might need a little bit longer strap, and that's what these allow you to do. I carry a, a Leatherman tool. I use this often for snowshoes, repairs, things like that. Oftentimes there's still a fair amount of snow out there when we're looking for shed, so I'll use that for that. Uh, these are a pair of gloves that I carry. These are interesting. These are actually made out of buffalo wool from a company called Buffalo Gold. Pretty cool product. I carry a beanie. This is from Duckworth. Just a really nice soft uh, wool beanie out there. I carry a set of Titan uh, straps. What I like about these is I'll actually take the horns and strap them together before I put them on the bag. Just keeps everything nice and snug and prevents anything from slipping. I typically carry uh, two or three, sometimes four of those dependent. Uh, bug spray. Uh, typically in the spring we have a lot of ticks around Montana, uh, Wyoming where I'm going, so I'll carry this. Kind of a pro tip, I always recommend keeping any bug spray, especially stuff with DEET in a plastic bag. If it spills into your bag, it is kind of hard on the material uh, and it can eat some of those things with the chemical in there, so uh, keep an eye on that. Uh, goal zero, this will charge my cell phone twice while I'm out there. Uh, this is an old Gerber saw that I carry. Uh, if you've ever run into a deadhead or something that stinks real bad and you don't want to carry it all out, this is fantastic for cutting the horns off uh, and so you don't have to deal with that. Uh, of course, toilet paper and wet wipes, got to keep it clean out there. All right, so that's everything that I would take with me uh, and get into kind of throughout the day. On the inside of the bag, I have a Nalgene water bottle and this platypus with about a liter of water in it. This is extra water for drinking, but also water for cooking with uh, that night. Uh, my spine scope, I run a Leica Televid 82. Uh, so like I said, spent a lot of time uh, looking for sheds through the glass as well. For insulation, extra insulation, I'll carry our Grumman uh, jacket and its stuff sack. Uh, for rain gear, I'll carry our M5 rain gear. This is the pant and the jacket. And then I also carry two swing out pockets. This one has first aid in it, and then this one is extra gear, so headlamps, batteries, things like that. Uh, one notable thing in my first aid kit is I always carry this quick clot product with me. Uh, this is a great product if you ever needed to stop a severe wound. That stuff uh, works really well. You just shove it into the wound and put some pressure on it. It's pretty amazing. For food, uh, I don't require a ton of calories uh, typically uh, when I'm out there. So I carry uh, basically two, uh, two sacks of food. Each one of these is about 1,200 to 1,400 calories. I'll eat one of those each day. Uh, also, we make a lot of jerky. Uh, so I take, take some jerky with us. This is mule deer jerky from this year. And then uh, I'll also take a Mountain House Pro Pack. I like the Pro Packs because they sucked all the air out of them and the packaging is really small. So it doesn't take up a lot of space inside of your bag. And then of course you gotta have a spoon. It's a nice lightweight titanium spoon. And then uh, for the cooking, I use the MSR Pocket Rocket. What I like about this is really small container, one canister of fuel. 
uh, everything kind of you need in there, the burner uh, in a nice compact kind of space. For my sleep system, I'll run our Sky Air uh, shelter. So I use the flat footprint, the vestibule, and the actual shelter body. All that fits inside of this bag, uh, plus the stakes as well. So just a great lightweight overnight shelter. Uh, Thermarest air pad. And then this is a chill cute 15 degree sleeping bag and it's sucked down into a 10 liter small uh, stuff or compression sack. So it's great, great way to get that thing to save space. Uh, I do like a few, you know, comforts of home. This is my little inflatable pillow. And then I'll carry this pad as well. This is actually a piece of carpet padding from a remodel we did in our house. What I like about it, it's kind of plasticky on both sides, real soft, doesn't absorb a lot of water. So those are all the things that I would take with me, uh, you know, on a, like I said, a two day, one night, uh, rip into the backcountry looking for sheds. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We're happy to help.